Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about how to configure port security to prevent unauthorized devices like switches and wireless access points on your network. And we'll use a lab demo to show this. So I've got Packet Tracer open here. I've got Switch 1 with a couple of PCs plugged in, PC1 and PC2. They've got IP addresses 10.10.10 .10 .10 and 10.10.10.11. .10 .10 They're on ports fast 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2. Ignore PC3 for now. That's the villain that's going to show up in a minute. Okay, so if I have a look at my config on switch one, I don't have any configuration on here yet. I've just added a host name and I've also configured spanning three port fast on all the ports just so they'll come up quicker so you can see what's going on more quickly. And what I'm going to do here is I'll go to global config and then on all of my interfaces, the end hosts are going to be plugged in. So that would be interface range fast zero slash one to 24. I'm going to say switch port, port security. And then that is going to give me an error message because I can't put it on a port which is a dynamic port. I need to configure them as access ports first. So I've still got the range selected. So I can say switch port mode access to make them access ports and then I can try the command again switch port port security and it takes the command now so I haven't added any parameters it's just going to have all of the default settings so let's have a look and see what that does so I will do a show port security interface fast zero slash one they're all going to have the same config and you can see that the maximum MAC addresses allowed is one. And if there's a violation, the port is going to be shut down. So right now, I've only got one host plugged into any port. So the port shouldn't get shut down. They should have connectivity to each other. Let's check that. I'll go on to PC2 and I'll ping PC1 at 10.10.10.10. And the ping works just fine. Okay, so when you've got the network set up as normal with just one end host plugged into your ports, then everything is going to work okay. If I go back to the packet tracer front end again, and let's say that in the part of the building where PC2 is, they've hired some additional staff there and there's not enough wall ports. So what they should do is get in touch with the IT department and say, can you put some more wall ports in, please? But you know that sometimes users do things that they shouldn't do and take things into their own hands. So let's say that the users down here, what they do is they, they remove the cable connected to PC2. So let's take that out. And then so that they can get additional hosts plugged in there, they add an additional switch in that part of the network. So they put a switch in here and then the cable, the host that was there already, they cable that into the switch and the new host, they cable that into the switch as well. And then they've still got the network cable that was plugged into PC2 before that they know was live on the network. So they plug that into the switch. So that was on fast zero slash two on our switch one and they plug that into their new switch. And they think, great, uh, we've got all of our new hosts are on the network now. But if we go on to PC3, and from PC3, we ping 10.10.10.10. .10 the ping is going to fail because port security on switch one 
sees that that is an additional MAC address. There's now two MAC addresses trying to send traffic in to fast zero slash two. It's going to shut the port down. Let's verify that by going on to switch two again. And I will do the same command again, show port security interface fast zero slash one. Notice before the status was secure up and there was no violations. Now I can see that, oh, I'm looking at the wrong part. I'm looking at fast zero slash one. Fast zero slash two would be exactly the same as that. So let's go on to the correct one, which is zero slash two. And in here, before it was secured up, but now I can see that it is secure shut down because there is a security violation. And if I do a show IP interface brief, I can see that it is showing as down, down on here now. Okay, so to get the interface back up again, I need to remove the offending host. So the reason we've done this now is that the port's going to be down. The users are going to get in touch with IT and say, hey, they won't tell you what they did. <laughs> You're going to hear about it now anyway, because we've lost connectivity in that part of the network. So you will discover this. You'll go down there. If the switch, if the rogue switch is still plugged in, you will go and cable everything back as it was. Possibly the users will have set things back anyway. Uh, so let's have a look. So back on here, let's say you go down there and the users haven't fixed anything. They've left it as it is. So we need to set things back as they were. So we're going to remove that rogue switch and then cable fast zero slash two back into PC2 as it was originally. We'll also get a new wall port put in that part of the building so that we can also cable switch one into PC3 as well. Now, at this point, PC3 was put into interface fast zero slash three, which is not shut down. So if I go into PC3 now and ping 10.10.10.10, this ping is gonna work okay. But if I go back onto PC2 and they were able to ping 10.10.10.10 before they started messing with the network, if I try pinging now, it still won't work because the interface is still error disabled. To bring the interface back up again, an administrator has to go onto the switch and go onto that interface. So I'll go config T interface fast zero slash two, do a shutdown and then a no shutdown. And that will bring the interface back into service. So if I now do a show port security interface fast zero slash two, I can see that it is back to secure up again now. And a show IP interface brief, I can see that it is being back to up, up. So now if I go back onto my host, which was PC2 and try pinging again, the ping works again. Okay, so that was port security and how we can use it to stop users putting unauthorized wireless access points and switches onto the network. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.